Okay, um, good morning everyone. So this is a continuation of our tour package making and at this point I am going to discuss with you uh, about the tour planning. Okay, so as we all know, we have to design a tour package that is uh, suitably, uh, that's going to suit sa needs ng aton niya client. Now, uh, so what are the things that needs to be considered para nga uh, makakam up ikaw sang isa ka tour package that is suited or tailor fit or tailor made para sa imong nga client. So developing a package that is customer focused, okay? So sa amon sa Amazing Discoveries Travel and Tours, ang amon usually nga tour package are all customer focused or tailor fit. Wala kami sang package nga ihatag namon sa isa ka family, dayon ihatag namon naman sa isa ka family nga the same lang because every client they have a different need especially if they want to go on vacation. That is why nga dapat ang ihatag naton sa ila is something is something nga dapat um ara gidya fit gidya sa ila. So first we need to identify first the client profile. Okay, so client profile should be identified. Is it um, group of family, barcada tour, group of doctors, or politicians? Sula in lain. Sula in lain nga profile of the client naga differ man ang tour package nga pwede mo ihatag sa ila. There are some, for example, sa group of family, hindi nila gusto magkadto sa mga museums. They wanted to go sa mga amusement parks because ang mga bata gusto ang mga doctors naman niya hindi gusto sa amusement park they wanted to go to museum or gusto na lang nila yasang shopping lang so lain lain ged so when you are in the travel agency business nagala in lain ang imo nga package depende man on the profile of your client another one is of course the destination requested or proposed so, there are two types. Either ma-request sa imo ang imo nga client. Hey, pwede ka makaubra tour package sa akon sa South Korea or pwede ka makaubra sa akon tour package sa El Nido or you as a travel agent, depende sa proof profile sa imo nga client, pwede ka man ka propose. Ma'am, since ang inyo preferred man niya ma'am are all shopping, no? And then high-end shopping at that, I would like to propose siguro nga Singapore na lang ta because my great Singapore sale and ma-maximize nyo git ang inyo nga 3 days, 2 nights because most sang ako nga ihatag sa inyo nga accommodations are near the area kung diin ka mo pwede makashop. Okay? So either destination requested or proposed. And then... After which is the duration, okay? So may ara kita yung mga clients nga ang ila lang pwede kalakat is weekend lang ged. Mas start abi sila Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Saturday, Sunday, Monday, or kung may long weekend nga Friday, Saturday, Sunday, balik sila Monday, that is also okay. So you have to consider the duration, especially kung ang imo mga clients are they don't have the luxury of time. So you need to make sure nga ang imo nga mga clients are able to visit everything sa gin propose or sa gin request nga tourist spot at that time duration. Okay? Now, the category of accommodation, this refers to five-star hotel, three-star hotel, bread and breakfast, hostel accommodation, depende sa profile sang imo nga client, depende sa ilaman nga budget. Hindi pwede nga group of doctors butang mo sa hostel nga. Ah, can, they can afford to have a five-star hotel. Hindi pwede nga ang group of lawyers ibutang mo lang sa six in a room nga wala breakfast. Makomplain sila. Remember class ha, that the accommodation plays a very important role especially if you are on vacation. Hindi pwede nga nagabakasyon sila and then pagkatapos law ay ang accommodation. It's a no-no. May ibang da mahambal. Okay, tipid-tipid lang. Anyway, tulugan mo lang. But then, depende gid inaya sa imo nga client profile. May ara yang nga client nga, sige, okay lang, tulugan mo lang. But there are clients nga, actually, ang kadto gid is matulog. 
gusto gin siya namon magpahuway. So we wanted to have a um, accommodation nga okay. Okay? Next of course is the meal plan. So full board ni siya. When we say full board, it's uh, composed already of breakfast, lunch, dinner or pwede nga with breakfast lang and then sila lang niya makaon lunch and dinner to have them a free time to choose kung ano ang ilang kaunon. We need to have the sightseeing or activities requested or suggested. Diin bala sila makadto. Ano ang ilang nga kadtoan for the day? What are the itinerary? Okay? Mode and class of transportation. Paano sila magkadto dito? Ma-airplane sila? Ti ang airplane, depende sa client profile. Are they flying business class? Are they flying economy? Mabarko sila? ma ship sila or ma cruise okay ancillary services these are some of the services nga gina-offer naton on top of the tour package for example kun magkadto sila sa South Korea you know as a travel agent nga required ang visa then you can offer ma'am pwede man nga kami na malang ma-process inyo visa at additional discounted cost na lang total sa amon man ka mo nagkuha sang tour package so ang visa kami na malang ma-process at uh, discounted rate na lang. And then, of course, the guide and the tour escort. So usually sa Amon, sa travel agencies, amazing discoveries, every time we have a group, may aragid kami ya sang tour guide or tour escort from the travel agency nga nagaupod. Hindi pwede nga wala, especially if high profile ang Amon clients because we wanted to make sure nga ang tanan nga kadtuan nila are all taken care of, ang pagkao nila wala delay if they have some complaints ma-address nga daan. Kabudlay na daan nga ma-complain sila then no one is going to fix it. And we are taking good care of our client para sa sunod repeat clients naman. So usually tour escort or a tour guide is needed and iupod mo gina siya sa imong costing para to make sure that everything is perfect. And of course, the number of free of charge or ang ginatawag naton nga FOC. So ang FOC, amo ni ang ginatawag naton or ginahatag naton nga free especially if may ara kita sang daw um, focal person. So for example, ang secretary sang mga sangguni ang panlalawigan or ang secretary sang group of lawyers or ang president sang group of lawyers, sila ang nagrefer sa imo travel agency. So usually gina free na lang na sila, sir. Kun may magupod nga 20 nga mabayad or may magupod nga 20 person or 20 paying person, then ikaw i free ka na lang namon so the foc is determined by the number of paying persons okay so i hope that's clear and if you have any questions sa ano ang gina consider when when we do tour planning please do not hesitate to ask me para mas ma-explain ko sa inyo and then on oh, next week on oh, next week no on the 6th Maybe I am going, uh, sorry, on the 8th, Gali, I am going to meet you uh, para uh, maintindihan pagid ninyo and if you have any questions on this one. Okay? So let's proceed. So when you do the contract with the client or with your supplier, you need to have this kind of consideration. So what are the consideration that needs to be um set or considered when doing a contract. So first is the class type of service or room. Ano ang room nga i-provide mo sa client? Or ano ang room nga i-provide sa imo sang supplier? So it has to be in the contract. Hindi pwede nga pag-commence pa lang sang tour, ay ma'am, ti wala man na sa contract, ang ginhambal ma lang namon, any available room. Ti what if kung ang available room, economy nga wala aircon, dayon ang imo client doctors ma-complain gid na sila. That is why it is very necessary nga dapat may ara gid ka muya sang contract kun ano ang room that is going to be provided by the supplier, ano ang room or type of service that is going to be provided ni mo as a travel agency to your clients. Now, you need to put the taxes, insurance fees, and service charge. Kay kun hindi mo ni pag-ibutang and then sukton mo lang sila on top sang ila na naging bayad daw magwa ini nga hidden charges and take note once makahatag na ikaw sang price hindi mo na, na pwede bag-uhon because kalaw ay on the part of the client 
nga hala nagbayad na kami dayon may ginsukot naman dayon pagka the other day may ginsukot naman yung insurance dayon may ginsukot naman yung service charge nga ang uh, every time nagapalapit nga palapit ang tour kadamo sang ginasukot so better sa inyo palang nga daan first nga istorya sa imo palang nga daan nga quotation ibutang na tanan Put it there, everything, para makadecide sila if they are going to get it or not. Because there are some travel agency mahambal sila. Okay, trip to Boracay, 999, three days, two nights. Ang ending gali, ang 999, room lang. Wala pa pagkaon, wala pa tour, wala pa airfare, wala pa taxes, wala pa service charge, wala pa insurance. Kung i-plus, plus, 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 plus mo na i-add mo, naglabot man siya 5,000 each. So, ang ending... Mangindi si client. Abi na mo 999 lang tinga a pag pagsuma mo liwat or paghatag mo sang bill 5000 na. Okay, ang mga ginpang add mo na dayon magwa na na siya dayon nga hidden charges. It can be considered hidden charges na nga a ah, because upfront wala mo ginhambal sa ila. So better get ya nga ihambal mo na nga daan upfront para right there and then maka-decide sila if they are going to get it or not. Okay? Now, concessions. Ano ang mga free nga ihatag? Okay, so kung wala ka sa may ginhatag na free, hindi man na iya maghambal ang client nga ano ang free namon or ang supplier, hindi man na iya maghambal nga okay, wala ka mo sang free or hindi man na iya maghambal ka mo nga supplier, ano ang free namon kung wala si supplier naghatag. But then, if you decided to give concessionary or free, you have to honor it. Remember ha? Ang imo client possible nga magsilo sa iban kun wala na nami an sa imo so you have to take good care of your clients. Next, validity of the contract. Okay? So validity of the contract dapat ara gid stipulated reservation procedures and conditions. Ano ang mga reservation procedures and conditions? Pila ang down payment required? San o bayaran ang san o bayaran ang remaining? In case of cancellation, pila ang amon ma-refund? In case of pandemic, in case may mapat siyan, may magmasakit, what are the conditions for this one? Everything has to be in the contract. Cut-off period are ang ginatawag natin nga option date hasta saan o sila pwede makabayad. Okay? We need to give option date. Option date is the term used by travel agents or airlines to refer to a deadline. Okay? So, option date is the deadline given to the client on up to when sila pwede makabayad. Beyond that, pwede nga mag-expire na ang contract and then it is subject to new contract liwat. Okay? Now, deposit payment, of course, and then form of payment. Mabayad sila cash, cheque, credit card, or credit line, or pautang. Galing gani ang muna ginahambal ko nga kung magpautang kita. Sometimes, nakatravel na sila pagbalik nila, kabudlay na manukot. That is why it's better get that the amount should be fully paid before the start of any tour. That is very important. Okay, so ang costing sang tour package, no? So, uh, please take note of this one because dirigid kita ma-base because after this one, I am going to send you again another video sa pag-ubra sang itinerary making and then pagkatapos sa pag-costing sang tour package which will be your final output. In lieu of your final exam, I will be requiring you a tour package. Okay? Sige. So, the cost of the package is always on a per-person basis. Wala kita nagahambal ng package is good for two or good for three. Ang imo nga presyo, always, always na siya per-person gid. No matter how many joiners are there, no matter how many clients are there, ang imo dapat nga presyo hanay is kada tawo. Okay, so types of cost in a package. So, ano ang cost? Okay, so fixed cost remains regardless of the numbers of passenger okay and then we have the variable cost depends on the number of projected or proposed participants okay so now sa fixed cost nga ginatawag amo ini ang mga cost nga bisan duwa sila or isa amo man japon ila bayaran and ang variable cost samtang nagadamo nga nagadamo ang 
participants or ang client nagabarato ang balayran samtang naganubo nga naganubo ang number of participants nagamahal because they are going to divide it by themselves okay examples ang fixed cost is the airline ticket because bisan isa ka lang malakat the airline ticket is the same Kun apat ka mo at $200, tanan ka mo tig $200. Variable cost naman niya is sa example sin is the bus fee. Kun pulo ka mo masakay sa taxi or sa bus, i-divide ninyo ang bus fee into 4. A uh, into 10 or 4. Kun pulo ka mo or apat. Okay? Now, so, nag vary siya depende on the number of participants. Okay? So, depending on the number of participants, it can go high or it can go up as well. Okay? So, ano ang mga various components of a tour package? Of course, transportation. Dala na diri ang airline ticket, uh, ang imong barko, ang imong taxi, or ang imong grab dira. These are all included. Now, cost by air, sea, or land from origin to destination and vice versa. So, dala na dira ya ang costing mo dapat sa transportation. How are you going to get there without the transportation? So, necessary get nga dapat ang imong costing dala ang transportation. Okay? Now, take note that transportation cost by scheduled air, sea, or land transportation are always based on a per person fair. So base permit siya sa per person nga pliti. Hindi sa ano ha, hindi sa kun mas madamo, mas barato. Okay? So it should be per person fair. Okay. Now, chartered transportation on the other hand is prorated. When we say chartered transportation, amo iniya ang mga transportation nga mga uh, private nga gina-divide naton ang costs ang private nga transportation depende on the number of people who are joining. Okay? Now, prorated cost. Okay? So, the total cost of the vehicle is divided into a predetermined number of passenger not exceeding the vehicle's capacity and within its break even load factor which is 50 to 60%. Okay. For example, the regular fare for Manila Baguio City via Victoria Liner is 495 per way and its capacity is 50 packs. Okay. So kung 50 packs, kung 50 packs sila kag individual ni siya no per person so 50 times 495 24750 kun individual nga masakay ka mo now if a group of 450 person charter the bus going to Baguio and its total cost is 12000 per way how much will the cost of each passenger pero kun maghambal for example ang ang Victoria Liner sige pwede nyo kami rentahon ah Ang bayad namun going to Baguio, 12,000 pesos one way. Kun 40 ang masakay, pila lang. I-divide mo ang 12,000 into 40 eh. So, 300 lang as compared sa 495 pesos nga bayaran kun individually pricing ang inyo nga ubrahon. So, that's the regular fare. When we say regular fare, lain-lain nga tawo ang nagasakay. When we say chartered, Isa ka group lang ang nagasakay, which is amo lang na ilang group, and the rate is different. Okay? So please take note of the computation. We are going to have this also as an activity later on. Now, transfer cost. Ano ang transfer cost? Transfer is uh, pag-abot mo sa airport, sugaton ka, dalon ikaw sa hotel, or dalon ikaw sa first destination ninyo, and then manugpuli naman ikaw from hotel, idulong ka sa airport or sa sakayan sang barko. So, galain-lain man sina. So, the cost of transportation to and from a destination get away to the lodging facilities. So, either airport to hotel, and then ang pabalik naman is hotel to airport. So sometimes one way transfer sometimes round trip transfer man ang gina-offer sang mga travel agency. Okay? It can also be from one point to another in the destination. For example, halin sa Panay pakadto sa Roja City. And then Roja City pakadto sa hotel. Hotel pakadto sa Dumalag. So from one point to another sa destination, it can also be done like that. Okay? 
always prorated except if the transfer is by regular airport shuttle. When we say prorated, divided into the number of people who are joining. <clears throat> Now, baggage handling fee to porters are not usually included. Of course, so nagatip ikaw sina no, especially kung may may porter nga mabulig maghakwat, so you usually give uh, tips for them. Okay, sightseeing tours naman, these are combined cost of the following: transportation within the sites to see entrance fees or cost of the activity. So pila ang entrance fees kung nagalagaw-lagaw ikaw? Pila ang entrance fees sa museum? Pila ang entrance fee sa amusement park, etc., etc. So that it has to be uh, included. Of course, the cost of snacks and or meals. The cost of guide services including guides transportation, meals, and accommodation if necessary. And of course, the accommodation. Now, the cost of lodging and meals served within the accommodation facility, it depends on the number of persons occupying the room. So una, may ara kita single may ara kita twin sharing. When we say twin sharing, two single beds in a room. May ara naman kita nga double sharing. When we say double sharing, it's a one big bed. Usually that is for couple or for a family member who doesn't mind or who don't mind sharing the same bed with another person. And how do we compute for the room rate? Now, the twin or double is shared by two people, and then the cost is divided by two. So if the twin room cost is $48, then ang costing mo kada tao is $24. Simple. I divide mo lang into two. Now, if a single, if a person doesn't want to share a room, there is a single supplement charge representing the difference between a half twin and a single occupancy room. Now, the single room rate at Hotel La Corona is $42 minus $24.18. So, the single supplement is $18. So, in other words, kung ang room is $100 and then pagkat $100 good for two. Okay? Example, if a room is $100 good for two, tag 50-50 sila. Tag 50-50 dollars sila. In case, for example, ako naghambal ko, ay hindi ko gusto hindi ko gusto nga magkwan nga mag join sa other person so there is an option kun may available nga room nga mabayad ikaw sang single supplement which represents the half twin or the 50% so kun ang room is 50 room is 50 dollars uh, hurry 100 dollars and then you are going to have a single supplement of 50 dollars then i-add on mo ang 50 dollars to the rate of that single person wishing to have a wishing to have a single room accommodation, okay? So always 50% of the double or twin room i-add on sa single person room if ever nga hindi niya gusto nga may roommate siya. Now, triple cost of a room plus extra bed divided by three person, okay? So extra bed in Hotel La Corona is $12. So kung ang room is $48, Good for two. Da yun mag-add ikaw sang extra bed, which is $12. So $60 ang room nga may extra bed. Nga amabutan ka extra bed because you are going to put an extra person. So $48 ang room good for two plus $12 nga extra bed is $60. And then ang $60, i-divide me into three. So ang balayra na lang sang kada tao is $20 na lang per person if they are doing a triple room accommodation. Okay? So, a rule of thumb. A rule of thumb, no, usually remember, in most cases, the more person use the room, the lower the price will be. Nga, ah, because the room is based on prorated, depending on the number of person. Okay? So, kung ang fixed room is $100, and then apat ang nagstay. So you divide it into four, so tag $25 each sila. Pero of course, ang hotel, may number of limitation man. So may number of person limited sa isa kakwarto. Usually up to quadruple is okay. Pero five, six, the impossible na unless the room is really offering oh, five or six accommodation, which is, which is available sa iba niya mga hotel like hostel or ini iba lang mga accommodation niya mga hindi mga 5 star hotel okay so sa meals naman 
<clears throat> Meals in accommodation establishments are always based on fixed cost. Fixed cost, get in siya per meal. Ang meals natin, ha? So, may budget kita, either $10 per meal or $5 per meal, depende. Okay, so, outside meals are usually less expensive. However, the cost of transportation to and from the hotel may increase its price. So, sometimes, you also have to determine nga kung diin mo pa kauno ng imo mga guests. Sa sulod na lang sang hotel, which is more expensive, pero... May nakita kang nga restaurant sa Panay, pero ang hotel mo sa Roja City. Pero kung ibiyahi mo ang IMO 50 ka guests from Roja City to Panay, it will be the same because mabayad ka pa sang salakyan. So you try to um you try to um compute kung diin ikaw mas makabarato and of course you have also to consider you have also to consider ang uh, convenience ng guest nga kada kaon halin sa Roja City makadto ka pa sa Panay. Basi magpinangakig na ang guest, especially kung kapoy na, especially lunch time. Lunch time, nagatagiti ang adlaw, mabiyahi ka muna sa panay para mag-lunch. Hindi pwede nga diri na lang mag-serve sa hotel. So, usually, diri nagakatalo-talo sa meals, especially sa iba niya mga travel agency niya nagatipid bala para mas dako ang income. Pero in the end, wala na sila nakakuha liwat sa same deal or wala na nila nakuha liwat ang client nga ah gintipid nila naguba ang ilang nga tour package and then pagkatapos wala na namian ang clients okay now tour escort naman niya is uh, involves ni siya ang cost of accommodation transportation the meal the tour of the person accompanying the group from origin to vice versa and then wala man ini siya naga hindi man gid siya always necessary nga dapat may tour escort ikaw depende ina sa profile sang imo nga guest sometimes naga require sila tour escort sometimes wala man and of course the tour escort usually ang nagagasto siya ang travel agency especially kung gusto niya yung magpadala sang tour escort sa iya nga mga sa iyang mga <laughs> sa iyang mga guests if they wanted to to send the they wanted to send sang ilang uh, guest nga mga high profile mas preferred nila nga may ara sila sang tour escort kid okay so apply all applicable concessions so it should be free sa tour escort so but so who's going to pay for this one usually ang nagabayad sini ang the travel agency airfare accommodation pagkaon transportation etc tanan ini dapat libre sa tour escort and of course may sweldo pa so the same ini <clears throat> sa amon sa travel agency namon sa amazing discoveries that when we have a tour escort usually for free ina and kinarotate ko ang ako nyo mga staff in order for them to travel to different destinations for free okay always pro rate and then of course converting into philippine peso no so usually dollar ang rating and then you use the rate based on the bank rate so wala naman gidni kay there are arbitrary packages nga ang rate natin is usd Sometimes ang rate natin is USD, sometimes ang rate natin is um sometimes ang rate natin is USD, sometimes Great Britain pound. So depende sa aton nga uh, costing. So nagabaylo-baylo man kita sang aton nga rate. Okay? Depende sa peso natin nga rate. Okay? Okay, so you have to allow a small allowance for currency fluctuation because nagalain-lain ang uh, valuation sang dollar. And that's it para sa aton nga aton uh, nga uh, sa tour planning naton so if you have any question guys go ahead and ask me i am very much willing to answer your question write your question because this will be the basis on how we are going to do our tour package nga inyo magiging final out Okay, so that would be all, guys. Thank you so much. I will see you in our next class.